working to Are you excited? Are you ready? You ready? Are you excited? That's very close. Cool. Well, but we're on our way to Palm Springs. <laughs> husband is amazing and went out last night when we got here and just got us like some breakfast stuff yogurt for me for him some fruit some muffins and I just have to show you this this is like the level we're talking about ladies get yourself a man who does this unbeknownst to me he packed this we had paper plates and then we had some cutlery he slid it in the plastic of the clothes plates and then taped it up and packed it in his bag. What? <sighs> We're also having coffee and this is the creamer he got. Nut pods, oat creamer with brown sugar, zero sugar. And then we're having a little Pike Place K-cup. This is the breakfast we're having. Yeah, I mean, and voila. Like, I'm just so impressed. Also the fact that he went out last night and got this for us after traveling for 13 hours. Amazing. Hello. Where are we? We're in Palm Springs. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> you want to say hi? That's nice. We are in Palm Springs. We um, traveled yesterday and I didn't vlog any of it, although I so wanted to pull out my camera so many times. It was just like a lot of logistics, you know, three suitcases, backpacks. We didn't check any bags. This guy, just a lot. You know, like going through customs and the airport and all that kind of stuff. Plus the day, we, we left Monday. Saturday night I got food poisoning. So, I wasn't exactly on my A game. I feel fine today and I felt better yesterday, but what are you doing? What is happening back here? Um, anyway. It was a great. Hey, Thomas. Are you so excited? Someone is. No. <laughs> Are you so happy? Oh my god. Uh, He's so no. happy. He did so well yesterday. <laughs> like, sitting in the airport, on the airplane, another airport, customs, another airplane. Like, when we got here, first tip when you come to Palm Springs, don't rent a car at the airport. We waited in line for an hour. No exaggeration, an hour to get our car. Um, we rented from budget. We got this trip through Costco, which I will tell you about where we're staying and all the things when I don't have a very excited 12 year old with me. <laughs> hey. We're about to go out. Go to Trader Joe's, obviously. Um, last night when we got in, the husband went and got us breakfast, which I'll show you. Um, but we're gonna go get some other stuff, sunscreen, etc. We booked chairs at the pool today, and I actually have a client today. Which I'm very excited about. I took spring break off. <laughs> anyway, we're excited. We're here. Let me show you the view from our room. So pretty. It's like a massive golf course. You want to come see the view, bud?
before I put it all away, here's a quick overview of the Trader Joe's haul. Just wanted to get a little bit for like breakfast, lunch, snacky bits. The hope is to only eat out for dinner. That's the hope. And then I did get myself a cup. This is the color I went with. And then I'm gonna somehow fit this in a mini fridge and then we're gonna go to the pool. <laughs> I'm back from the pool. I left the boys there. We, I don't know if I said this before, we rented two chairs and an umbrella for the day. And by we, I mean the husband. He plans everything, what we call a vacation. <laughs> if you've ever seen that reel where it's like the little kid in the snowsuit, like do, 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 that's me on vacation. Because, you know, he's well aware of how much I do at home in our regular life. So I'm happy to just like, I will just happily follow you no matter what we're doing. <laughs> Like last night when we landed, he already knew in one plaza in Palm Springs there was a vegan restaurant that I could order to go and there was a pub that he could order ahead to go for him and Thomas so we could all have food and come back to like come to the hotel to check in. Like he's just so good at that kind of stuff. Anyway, so we have the chairs and the umbrella for the day. It also gives you like your own server, which is pretty incredible. Um, and we booked this trip through Costco. I didn't know this, but a good friend of mine shared this tip that you can do like Costco travel. And we got a killer deal on this resort plus our rental car, like it was all one package. We didn't do the flights because we have the WestJet credit card. So Thomas's flight was like a companion fare. You get one a year. Why I was telling you that is from Costco is another thing that was included is the resort fees you don't have to pay and the um, parking. I think we have to pay for parking. I can't remember, but we also get a $50 a day resort credit. So we just used the credit to buy lunch at the pool today. I had some tofu tacos and the boys had a pizza. So I left them and the reason why I left them to come back to the room is I'm about to have a client. This is like manifestation shiz right here. Like my dream is to be able to Zoom or call clients while on vacation so that we as a family can have experiences like go to Europe for a couple months or come to Palm Springs for a week and I can still work. If we were here for longer, I would have maybe tried to book more in but I have one that I talk to on the phone on a regular basis and she asked to chat this week and I was like, sure, sounds great. Um, and cause I'm actually not working for spring break. It's just too difficult to like schedule in-person clients while the husband's working and Thomas is home, like just too hard. But this just all worked out so great. And I, it's like, man, if I, manifested this moment. You might be like, why on earth would you want to work on vacation? But like, to me, it just opens up so much opportunity. Like I said, if we could go away, like, like I said, for a couple months and I could see clients like two, three days a week while the boys are off, like having an adventure, goals, dream, that's what's happening. Um, Cause I don't know if you know this, but I see clients Zoom or the phone or in person. So if you don't live where I live, I could still be your therapist. We can just chat over Zoom or on the telephone. Yeah, so I'm gonna call her in about 15 minutes. Just amazing, like, I'm so happy. <laughs> Again, you might not get it, but to me it's like bucket list, incredible things of the future. Also filled up some, my Stanley, oh, it matches my shirt. My Stanley with some ice. And some water. I'm gonna chill here and talk to my client. And then once I'm done, the boys will come back. They'll probably have like a nice calm, air conditioned, some downtime. And then I think we're gonna go to Target and buy pillows because all of the pillows on the beds are just too floofy. I like a pretty flat pillow and so does the husband. And like, I'm too old to have a week's of terrible sleeps. So we're just gonna go find some like cheap pillows I think at Target and something else we talked about buying there too. Can't remember. Anyway, um, if they wanna leave me at Target, that's fine also. 
when I don't know if I said this in the honeymoon vlog I we spent two hours in Target when we went up island and had the car what a patient husband at one point he was like you know we've been here for two hours and I was like uh-huh <laughs> and <laughs> um, something else we want to do is go downtown and um, just like look they have like a walk of fame and go see one of those fancy Starbucks. We saw the one in Seattle too. I forget what they're called. Anyways, I'll be showing you. And I told you this in a vlog last week or the week before. Sorry, I keep having to switch hands. This camera's heavy. <laughs> um, that I'm going to RuPaul by myself, his book tour in Vancouver next month. If any of you are going, it's general admission, want to hang out. But I also tomorrow booked myself a reservation for one at the Trixie Motel because it's 21 plus so the unicorn can't come with as Thomas can't come with so they're gonna drop me off and I'm gonna sit and have like an afternoon mocktail and an appy and just sit in the Trixie Motel so I'll, I'll bring you along for that yeah I'll, they'll totally let me film in there I'm sure anyway it's so nice to be on vacation and manifestation works in my journaling video I asked if you wanted to see a full video on how I manifest so let me know if you do okay I'm gonna go talk to my client while I'm in Palm Springs like goals goals it was still difficult to see what was going on sometimes Ron and Hermione joined Neville Seamus and Dean the West Ham fan up in the top row as a surprise for Harry, they had painted a large banner on one of the sheets Scabbers had ruined. It said, Potter for President, and Dean, who was good at drawing, had done a large Gryffindor lion underneath. For breakfast this morning, I'm having a Trader Joe's, I think this was strawberry yogurt with coconut cream. Not sure if it'll be good, but we'll see. And banana, and then this which I have never seen before. We saw it in Trader Joe's yesterday and it was like weird enough that we had to try it. It's called a Sumo Citrus. So I'm gonna have this. And then also, we went to Target last night before dinner and among other things, bought some cheap mugs because our hotel room only had like smaller than a tall paper cups. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of waxy. This is now, this now fits two K cups and a little bit of oat milk, so. You know, you do what you gotta do. We also bought $7 pillows. Mine, loved it. Unicorn, not so much. I mean, what other vlogging content is gonna peel a piece of fruit for you? It's a sumo citrus. This could be a first, probably. It's beautiful, look at it, gorgeous. All right, let's see. The top <laughs> Just like my buns. Ooh. I'm sure anyone who eats these on a regular basis is like, okay. These folks are crazy. But I was just saying to the husband, this is what I was expecting when we were in Hawaii. It was like different fruit I'd never tried. And we didn't try anything new. Although we did find that the pineapple in Hawaii was unlike anything else. Like, you know how often pineapple is a bit bitter? Not there. And they, at the, when we went to Duke's for their buffet, I think they had put it in maybe like tahine or something. It was like a red spice. Wow, it was good. Okay, you wanna try a piece? I know you don't like citrus though. I know, I'll, I'll definitely try. Okay. Come on, this is a special orange. Okay, let's try it. Looks exactly just like an orange. Mmm. Mmm. Think jumbo mandarin. Yeah. The old school mandarins, so like the ones that we used to get. Childhood mandarin orange. That's what yeah, it tastes like. Old school. And it peeled just like it too. Oh, that's yeah. good. Delicious. Okay. <laughs> Riveting content. It's good.
vegan cheese, vegan bun, somehow. All the dressings, everything you brought over here looks amazing. Enjoy. And Thomas has already annihilated his. <laughs> How you doing, bud? <laughs> Having a nice day in Palm Springs. Thumbs up? <laughs> yeah? Good. Just walking around. Nice palm trees behind us. <laughs> shopping it's very hot out especially for these Canadians <laughs> um, and now I'm about to do something that I've never done before that's very out of my comfort zone I'm about to go have a drink alone I know that's why like seriously what's the big deal I've just never done it the boys are gonna drop me off at the Trixie Motel which if you've seen the show um, created by Trixie Mattel, the drag queen. And I'm gonna sit there and have a mocktail and enjoy it. And maybe buy some merch, sit there awkwardly alone and then get them to pick me up. <laughs> maybe explain to them why you have to sit there awkwardly alone. Oh, right, sorry, um, it's 21 plus. <laughs> yeah, it's not because I wouldn't go, I'd love to go. <laughs> but we're traveling with the family. Yes. Thomas is not yet 21, even Thomas though he looks 21. Allowed, and yeah, so that's a good point, good point. Thank you. Why isn't her husband going with? That's why. So, we'll see if I can take photos or anything. I brought my Kobo, so I'm not just like staring into the air. But we'll see. And if I don't like it, I'll just leave. And I'll just get them to pick me up on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> It's in a neighborhood. Wow. It's a cactus garden. Guest entrance, gift shop. No photography, please. Okay, so I guess around the corner. Thursday night and 
this is the first time I have picked up a camera today. Hi, hello. Um, I don't even know where I finished off yesterday with you, but today was another day where we'd rented chairs and an umbrella at the pool. So we spent like almost four hours there. Just really enjoyed it. Thomas loved it. It's one thing that's great about this place is the pool is heated. So it's just chef's kiss. I don't even think I've told you where we're staying yet. Renaissance Esmeralda, is that even close? Yeah, that is. Renaissance Esmeralda Resort and Spa? Yes. Correct. We're actually in Indian Wells, right? Correct, just outside Palm Springs. Just outside Palm Springs. Can you tell he's been doing all the driving and he plans everything? I am that meme, that's just <laughs> like that little kid in the snowsuit walking behind. Um, yeah, it's, oh, I did show you last night some of the hotel itself. There is a conference happening right now with like, what'd you say, 500 doctors probably? Like, and it still feels almost empty. Like, it's so big and I can't say enough good things about it. So we chilled by the pool, came back, showered, and then we went out, did a little bit of shopping, had dinner, and came back. That's basically it. Now we're just having some wind down time. We have kept-ish the routine while we've been here. Like, I mean, well, Thomas has to take his medicine within the hour, five times a day. So like two times in the morning and then three different hours at night. So we've kept those pretty good. Luckily it's the same um, time zone here. And every night we've tried to at least be back in our room by like seven-ish at the very latest, and then allowed him some downtime, watch a little YouTube, you know, chill out before bed. And I also haven't even shown you this room. I have this really bad habit of the last few times we've traveled. I need to get better about like, we walk in the room and I'm like, nobody touch anything until I film it. <laughs> Cause I'm not turning the camera around right now. You know, you've stayed in hotels and I will try to remember to film it before we go, but really the room itself, I will try to show you. But it's two queen beds, and then there's like a faux wall in the middle of the room that takes up half. But in the center, following me, on the other side of it, there's a sectional hide a bed that Thomas is on. Each side of the wall has a TV. So it kind of gives like the illusion of privacy, which is nice. Like he's in bed right now and I can't see him, but. If I do that, I can. So he has his own TV, so do we. Um, yeah, it's got a dining table, which is where I uh, did work the other day and where we've been having him eat breakfast. You know, the usual, it's got like a Keurig, a fridge, a safe, blah de blah But I like when we stay with Thomas in a hotel room that he has like a little bit of privacy. Um, it's, it's just nice. We have been lucky and stayed in some rooms where there's like a physical bedroom with a door, which is great, but um, this has been good. And surprisingly, I would say it's probably the most comfortable hide-a-bed I've ever experienced. It definitely doesn't seem like old and gross because I'm laid on it with him. I haven't slept there, but in the mornings when he's up early trying to just keep him chill. I don't know where I was going with that, but We've been, I guess I, what I was saying is like, we've been in our room early every night and like still going to bed at a decent time. I have had a lot of like shifts since my mom passed away, but, and I'm sure we'll talk about it at some point, but one thing this year for sure, but last year, I just go to bed early and I don't apologize for it. Like lately, I have been going to bed basically when Thomas does, and then like enjoying my Kobo, no blue light, trying to really um, prioritize my health and my sleep. I've um, been having some health stuff going on and I just am really trying to like prioritize it. I would say actually I've been prioritizing sleep since I got my aura ring, which I will sit and film a review on for you. Um, and it is encouraging then to see like, the progress that I'm making and you know the hours of sleep and stuff so 
we're not partying. Not that anyone watching this ever would have expected that. But, you know, just being realistic, like he's up early and then I'm sure any parent can relate. Um, when, by the time he is up, it's like we are parenting from now he's awake until he falls asleep. So then as soon as he falls asleep, I'm like, I must sleep just in case we don't know what's gonna happen in the morning. I'm like that at home and that's how I've been here too. Um, but today was a good day. Um, I bought a pair of cheap shoes and a pair of like biker shorts that are leopard. I showed a lot, I have shown so much restraint on this trip. We didn't check a bag, so we can, we could each, have a free checked bag but once we didn't check bags to get married we were kind of like we'll never check a bag again it's just it is a pain in the ass to like have your luggage while you're in the airport and like put it up above and like uh hate it like we each have three rolly small suitcases and whatever that's a pain in the ass but then you're not waiting for your luggage and your luggage isn't getting lost so those are two really big things for me. Anyways, <laughs> the more we shop, we're like, <laughs> what are we going to do? But got a small backpack. we're thinking about buying a backpack because the unicorn didn't have a second piece of carry on. <laughs> so in theory, we could do that. Also, this hotel has um, a FedEx in it so that you can ship stuff home, I'm assuming. So that'll be tomorrow, tomorrow's decision. Cause we leave, tomorrow's our last day. I could not be more sad about it. I'm so bummed. <sighs> anyway, I'm losing light, I'm losing steam. I'm going to, oh, it's 7-Eleven. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. He's just like shining his phone light. No, that, now you can see the camera angle. Anyway, thanks, honey. Um, that's just sort of the check-in for today. I will talk to you tomorrow. We are going to probably treat Thomas to some long drives, head west. We were talking about going to Disneyland on this trip, but no, it's spring break, that's a no. Um, but we might head towards LA, not actually go that far. Maybe find some more shopping. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. Well, we treated ourselves to breakfast room service this morning. So I got an acai bowl, some hashies for T-bone. Look at this that the unicorn got. Look at that sandwich. Yum. And then I got some toast also. Wow. And 20,000 things of ketchup. Oh. The cutest Tabasco. That's adorable. evening and we are about to hit the pool for the very last time well you're dirty sorry as you saw today we did a little bit of driving we went to Riverside California and went to Nordstrom Rack I got the maybe probably the most beautiful purse I've ever owned in my life so I got a pair of Birkenstocks that are pink sadly we've already started packing so I can't show you these things I'll try to remember to show you um, in the future, but 
while I think of it before we actually close up the suitcases, I talked about these in our wedding video, I think but I just wanna show you again. These are a miracle. The amount of shopping we did, I think I told you I was, thought we were gonna to have to FedEx something home. We bought a backpack, and now it seems like we're actually gonna have extra space. I want it, They're like compression bags you can buy on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Mm -hmm. Life changer, game changer. This is all of our dirty laundry for six days. For all of us. For the three of us plus a pair of shoes, plus a belt, plus, plus, in half of a carry-on suitcase. So that just gives you an idea of how much would fit in them. You fill the plastic bag and then you zip it shut and then you compress the air out of it. It's like rock solid. Plus, when you put clean clothes in them and you arrive where you are, they're hardly wrinkled and if they are, they're quick to be not wrinkled, so. We are just like thrilled. I can't believe how much room we still have in our suitcases. Yes, we have to get two bags of Thomas's favorites, hot tamales. Oh. Since literally no one else is in the pool, I can show it to you. There's the husband, and then here's the resort. It's like so beautiful. Wraps around, and then over there is a second pool. This during the day was like a bar, <clears throat> because we rented chairs we also got um, service so like food and drink <laughs> look at these two just living their best lives I am feeling very grateful very much like we manifested this exact scene great husband happy healthy son What more could you want, honestly? It's officially our last morning. We are packed and just sort of chilling before we head out. But the room is like pseudo clean now that all our stuff's packed, so I thought I would give you just a really brief tour in case you're ever wondering about coming here. It's the Renaissance Esmeralda Resort and Spa. This is what the room we have. We have 7111, that's our room number. It's like a corner suite, didn't ask for it. But when we booked it, we did put in the booking like loud, neurodiverse sun, <laughs> hoping that maybe they'd like put us away from people. I just never want to be disruptive and I also want Thomas to be able to like, not be loud, but like stim and stuff. So maybe that's why they gave us this room. It's also about a 10 second walk to a corner private elevator. Not private, like anyone else can use it, but it's not the main bank of elevators cause that's like about a five minute walk. <laughs> and then it comes right down to the pool. So, and then also right to where we parked the car. Very convenient. Anyway, this is what the room looks like. 7111, and you all know 11's my number. And you come in, and you first have the bathroom. It's got nice double sinks, lights, like lots of nice light. And then a 
a bathtub, which we didn't think we were getting. We thought we were just getting a stand-up shower and then a separate closed door room for the toilet. A little closet here. Top tip, don't forget to check your closets before you check out of a room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this is looking down. So this way is Toodles. And then this was the hide bed So it came out and it had a very, very sizable, I would say bigger than a double hide bed and quite comfortable. And now a nice little couch, just patiently waiting, watching, no surprise, a driving video. And then this little kitchen nook. This is where I worked. And then this is where we ate as well. It is nice to have somewhere to eat that's not like your bed. <laughs> Um, I liked the artwork is very Palm Springs esque. Out here is nothing. Like we actually have never even had these open. It's just the parking garage. We can actually see our car from here. That's how close we got to park. Like amazing. But it has this like heat <laughs> um, repellent brick. So we just left those closed. But we come around here little suitcases and this is the view which I think I've already shown you it's just Indian Wells golf there you go Indian Wells golf course which apparently is a famous golf course gorgeous little deck and then turn around and when there's another TV see how I said it's nice to have like just a tiny wall like so he has privacy you know and then this these are the two beds and then in here is like a little safe. And then over there is like a little coffee bar. So a very nice sizable room. Um, had a little fridge and a Keurig. And I think I mentioned we bought some K-Cups the first night and some of that oat creamer, which I showed you. And that's the room. And then you're back out to some very stylish Palm Springs decooler. Did you show the wallpaper? Oh no, I didn't. This part actually. This is beautiful, you're right, hon. And the bathroom wallpaper. This is really beautiful. The water closet, it's all Palm Desert homes, the old school homes. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll show you. I mean, <laughs> do we want to do this to a wall in our house? Well, just kidding, just kidding. Mm -hmm. But it is beautiful. And then, oh yeah, I did not show you. The wallpaper in here is really cool, actually. It's all like old school. I'd say old school Palm Springs homes, but like this is just what they look like now. And then if you close the door, you know, just cool. It's lots of nice touches. I just love the architecture here. It's so like 50s, 60s. At least what we saw. There's not a lot of like cookie cutter box modern. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm not gonna vlog while we travel. I really, I might try to pull out my phone because it is so freaking cute to see Thomas with his rolly suitcase and backpack like going through the airport. But it's also parenting and busy and you know, there's a lot of moving parts, passports. When he goes through security, he can't go through the thing. I have to get a pat down because it's cochlear. It's a whole thing. He has medicine, they have to scan it. You know, it's a lot. So <laughs> this will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed our family spring break trip to Palm Springs. I have a feeling it's going to be something that we do regularly. The husband is hooked. He'd never been here. Um, but if you've been an OG marathoner, I came here in 2018. You can go back and watch that video. Very, two very different women in two very different stages of life. It's very like surreal to be back. Anyway, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Remember, life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You could do anything for 10 minutes. Take care, bye.